Nation, what is up? It's me, Micah Tyler. I got my buddy Garrett here, and we're about to do some songs from a mug. This is songs from the mug today, because this is the new mug. If anybody has a tiny bottle of champagne, we're going to just, right there, maiden voyage. It'll be good. A song sung by your favorite Disney character. So, here's the deal. You've got your Disney stars. You've got your princes. Not something that I looked up to growing up. <laughs> Did not really attain the prince status. So, I'm more looking for your B-level characters who just come for a good time. And so, uh, let's see if we can knock out a few here. Some people settle for the typical thing Living all their lives waiting in the wings It ain't a question of when, just a matter of time Before I'm pulling to the front of the line And now you're watching every move that I make You gotta believe that I got what it takes It's a piece of cake Oh, there's a little something now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top, I had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cub, and stroll right into town. I be just like the other men, I'm tired of monking around. Oh, ooh, hey, do, I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you, talk like you, true. They say it's true. An ain't like me can't learn to be human too. Can't learn to be human too. Hey, is it strange that I identify with a cartoon dog and a monkey for my two, my favorites? Tell the therapist. All right, here we go. Uh, Favorite song from a musical? This is a good one. I actually, I actually like a lot of musicals, so this was a fun one to kind of be able to pull out. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, just a little lovable loser here. <sighs> Lift up your head, wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex, wipe that lipstick away. Show me your face, clean as the morning. I know things were bad, but now they're okay. Cause suddenly Seymour <laughs> is standing beside you. You don't need no makeup. Don't have to pretend Suddenly Seymour Is here to provide you With sweet understanding Seymour's your nobody ever Treated me kindly Daddy left early Mama was poor. Oh, that's good. That's it. <laughs> Song that was the hardest to write. Whew. Okay. So I started doing music. Uh, actually, uh, yesterday was 11 years that I stepped away from doing youth ministry and doing music full time. And we've, I mean, it's, it's been one crazy situation after another that we've traveled through and tried to um, serve the Lord and be faithful to Him, uh, just all kinds of stuff. But what's crazy is I actually signed a record about five years ago. Put up the first song, Never Been a Moment, um, was going really well. You know, people were playing it, Way FM was playing it. And uh, and I was on a tour with uh, Big Daddy Weave and uh, We Are Messengers. Uh, and I got a call from my wife that our house was about to be hit by a stage four hurricane, category four hurricane. Um, and so all of a sudden, uh, I was leaving that tour, rushing home, got back to the house um, just in time for... Uh, the storm to roll in, um, got almost 50 inches of rain in just a few days, uh, and that little house that we were in uh, took on some, some, some damage. We had four rooms that we had to replace floors and walls in, and I had no idea that a, an even bigger thing was going to be hitting our family soon. Uh, just a few weeks after that storm, my younger brother Daniel was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, and, uh, and it was in the midst of that hurting where I was trying to tell everyone there has never been a moment that God's not loved them. 
that my moments were hurting a whole lot. And I've, I've made a commitment as a songwriter. I want to make sure that I, when I walk into a writer's room that I'm understanding that it's not about that room. It's about the stages and it's about the moments and the radio speakers that one day will be carrying the gospel to someone who needs to hear it in a time where they're hurting. So if I'm hurting, I want to write from a hurting place. So I walked into a room um, and started writing this one that I feel like, um, man, it's been one that's just been so personal for me. And, and it, it was a very hard song to write, but I'm glad I did because I was reminded in the process that in those moments where we just keep asking God, will you have mercy on me? Mercy is already there. Because Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 just says this, His mercies are made new every morning because He's faithful. And it was through that that I realized that I didn't have to earn or deserve mercy, that I just had to accept that God was wanting to give that to me on that day and believe that it was made new that morning. So this song came out of that. I've been hot on myself lately Every morning I feel the weight mm. And when it's hard to just get out of bed Tell my heart Cause sometimes I forget That your mercies are new today yeah. Your mercies are new today, oh. Then I could rest on your shoulders and there is grace to start over. Your mercies are new today, oh. Your mercies are new today, oh. Okay, let's find a happier song inside this mug. <laughs> this is, okay, here we go. Song that reminds you of your hometown. This is much happier because I remember being, uh, I live in Buna, Texas, still live there. Born and raised, never got out, married my high school sweetheart. It's been there for a long time. Um, and so in the process of being there, I just remember, I, listen to me, we're not even a city. We are an unincorporated township. So we don't even have a Walmart. We got two dollar stores, put them together. It's like one thirteenth of a Walmart. Um, <laughs> for the math crowd out there. Uh, and so I remember uh, just rolling down the window and just driving down the back roads. It was just a thing that you did because we hated gasoline and we loved just getting out of our house. So I remember uh, this one just being one that I, uh, man, I thought this was the greatest song I'd ever heard in my entire life. And it said lots of things that I didn't even realize what they meant. But all I knew is that with the windows down, I could just sing this one out. Well, I just heard the news today. It seems my life was gonna change. I close my eyes, begin to pray, not while I'm driving, and tears of joy stream down my face with arms wide open. Under the sunlight Welcome to this place I'll show you everything With arms wide open Now everything has changed I'll show you love I'll show you everything With arms wide open I mean that that record would, with arms wide right open. Look, okay, that's good. I gotta, I'm gonna get stuck in it if I keep going here. <laughs> oh man, shout out to Creed. Thanks for the, thanks for the tunes. I burned a lot of back roads on that one. All right, let's see. Favorite 90s throwback song. It's a rare condition this day and age To read any good news on the newspaper page Love and tradition on the grand design Some people say it's even harder to find Well then there must be some magic clue Inside these gentle walls Well then all I see is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene Everybody help me out Some days go by It's the bigger love For 
the family Yeah Didn't I do that? <laughs> That's good. That was like a that was like a southern Urkel. Didn't I do that? Ding. <laughs> That's kind of a thing. Favorite song to play at a concert. Man, this song is just so hopeful and it's so fun and it is uh it's just so true. And so and I wrote it with a, a young artist I'm trying to help out named Matthew West. And so this song is called Walking Free. The verdict was guilty, case closed, the end. And no chance for me to ever leave this prison of my sin. Now I know it might sound crazy, but one day a key unlocked that cell. I heard a small voice say, your debt's been paid by somebody else. And now I'm walking, walking, walking free. No more darkness, guilt and loss, it's grip on me When mercy called my name, those chains fell at my feet And now I'm walking, walking, walking free Walking free, yeah I'm walking free, yeah It's that third verse So to the one walking wounded to the one with regret Look up and see your victory Is just up ahead Cause there is a savior Who knows everywhere you've been And he's telling you that you'll never have To go back there again So if you know that you'll never have To go back there again This thing I'm walking, walking, walking Chains fell at my feet And now I'm walking, walking, walking free Walking free Oh yeah Walking free Live studio audience, help me out here, come on Hey I'm walking free Do the little thing A song that makes you laugh. Take you back to 1995. That's when a cinematic masterpiece came out. <laughs> a film that told me that if I just believe and work hard and I too team up with a bunch of cartoons and Michael Jordan, that one day I too could rise above my problems and fly so high. <laughs> so that's where I would put on my Waltman earbuds that was a, I say buds, they didn't go inside, they went all the way around. <laughs> that was a big, yeah, that's good. And I would play slow motion basketball to this song out in my driveway. Let me take you there. I used to think that I could not go on. And life was nothing but an awful song But now I know the meaning of true love I'm leaning on the everlasting arms Oh, and if I can see it woo, And if I can be it If I just believe it there's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day Spread my wings and fly away Oh, I believe I can soar You'll see me running through that open door I believe I can fly Let's bring it up I believe I can fly Oh, I believe I can fly And if I just spread my wings I can fly
<laughs> First song you learned to play. Great. So I was, like I said, I was a late bloomer. So I was 18, became a youth pastor, and um, and was just trying to like do my best. I, I was basically the same age as everybody in the youth group. And so I remember... Um, I remember uh, uh, just like getting into the kids and all of a sudden the youth group started growing and I, I was going like, oh, this is awesome. So we had a decent sized little youth room and people were kind of filling it up and stuff. And I was going, okay, this is cool. Like, what should I do next? And I was preaching for like an hour and night. And I thought I should buy a guitar and like get one of these students to learn how to play it. And then like, I would be able to like give them a couple songs and I would preach a message. And so I bought a guitar, used my pizza budget on it. And none of them wanted to learn how to, <laughs> to play it at all. So I was like, oh, my gosh, I spent some pizza budget on this one. I got to go home and learn it. And so I remember bringing the guitar home, and I had a, a, a VHS tape. Um, it's like a, a, a rectangle DVD. Oh. And, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so uh, I remember um, plugging it in. It was a VHS tape called Play the Guitar Overnight, which I was really pumped about because that meant I would be able to play it the next day. But that was a lie. So for three months, I just sat there with chords and just, like, just figured out little things here and there. And then I finally got up enough courage to walk into the youth room and I remember sitting on the stool and I had a guitar and they looked at me and they were like, is he going to play a song? And I just said, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. And they were like, <laughs> and I was like, open the eyes of my heart because I want to see you. And they were pumped, Garrett. They were like, they were so excited. And so I remember feeling really good about it. And I went home and I just used to practice a little bit. And I came back the next week and I sat on my stool and I looked right at him and I said, Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. And they're like, oh, he's playing that song again. And I was like, open the eyes of my heart. It's awesome. They were, they were semi pumped. And I, and I remember, I remember the third week, I promise, I sat in there and I sat in there and I was feeling all the confidence. I said, open the eyes. And they're like, can you learn another one? And I said, no. I said, I said, I literally just know this one. And my fingers hurt a lot. So, uh, so then I, I waited a couple more months and learned another song. And then, uh, and then, and then here we are right now. So, but that was the, that was the very first song. It was that and a Hootie and the Blowfish song, but open the eyes of my heart's a little better. One more left. Big moment here. This is just so luxurious. Songs from a mug, official mug for you when I take it home. This is just, I can't believe how easy it was to pull things out of here. I can't imagine what it's like to drink. A song by a band that you'd love to join. This is an easy one. This has been going on in my life for about 20 years now. Um, I had some really formative junior high years, I remember. And I remember being in sixth grade and there was a band of boys with a Z that I thought to myself, I would like to also be a boys. Because at sixth grade, I really thought that my emotions had really caught up to what these people who had become to men were feeling. And so I remember being in the shower and singing this one a whole lot. <clears throat> and darling, I, I can't explain Where do we lose our words? Girl, it's driving me insane And I know I just need one more chance To prove my love to you and if you come back to me, I'll guarantee that I'll never let you go. See, there I was, sixth grade. I was in a serious relationship of one week. And we just had to go our separate ways, knowing that if love wanted to bring us back together, it would. Six years later, Spanish too sat behind a girl that I was just remember those old feelings about we started dating and next week we'll be married for 18 years thank you here we go can we go back to the days our love was strong we did can you tell me God, give me your reason. I'm down on bended knee. I'll never walk again until you come back to me. I'm down on bended knee. Yeah. Songs from a mug. I've been Michael Tyler. This is Garrett. Thanks for having us. 
Way Nation, what is up? Have I got a mug with your name on it right here? It literally says it. This is the brand new Songs from a Mug, and if you want to get yourself one, all you got to do is text the word STORE to 91979. 91979. How easy is that? And how wonderful is this? Get you one. 